New shooter coverage of IBC 2024 is sponsored by Sennheiser, Adamos, and b &H. I'm Eric Nasa with NewShooter.com. We're at IBC 2024. I'm at the Adamos booth with Jeremy. How is it going? Going good, man. Going good. We've got a lot of cool stuff here. Yeah, we've been working hard. <laughs> So what do we have here? It looks like the Shinobi 2. It's yeah. been out for a bit. Yeah. yeah a couple months. Yeah. yeah, it has been out for a couple of months. It's 349. It's got a new screen, 1500 nit. And the biggest thing is it controls cameras. And so one of the things we're showing here is big request was not just white balance, ISO, shutter speed, et cetera. The big request was autofocus tracking as well as photo control. So we've announced those. Nice. So photo control, video control in both of those modes, working for Sony, Canon, Nikon, Panasonic, in certain models, and we need to, each camera's a little bit different, so you've got to bespokely do each one. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's going very well, and we're showing, here's Fuji's, and we've got a, you just touch on the area that you want to focus on, and then it follows that around. So it's a really easy kind of way to use your monitor. It's a big screen, it's HDR, it's yeah. killer product. I like that a lot. I cannot tell you, we were just talking about it. I have a C70. I'm always touch, touching focus because it works so well, and every and I have an external monitor that doesn't have any camera control, and I'm always tapping that darn monitor because it's instinctual. And that's, that's the what problem you're we're trying at. to solve. Yeah. yeah, that's the problem we're trying to solve. We're really trying to give those the usability back to you guys on the monitor, and the camera makers have been really supportive. They've given us all the protocols, etc. So yeah, it's going really well. And uh, this LCD screen, it looks like it's really nice. It yeah. looks punchy. Yeah, it, it's 1500 nit. And it's got a deep color profile, P3, so it's really, really nice screen. Um, worked hard on that screen for kind of six months. It's the same weight as the original Shinobi, but about 30% thinner. Yeah, it definitely looks thinner. Yeah, and there's a sun hood that's not quite released yet that goes over that for, uh, for outdoor. Talk to me a little about, I know you might have mentioned it, the inputs that it has on it. Yeah, so it's HDMI in and USB-C for camera control and then PD USB-C for power. And you can power the camera from the battery on the Shinobi. And any of the, uh, the Atom X products that you were, you know, the, the converters, do they work on here? Like if you no. wanted SDI? No, they don't. No, no. There's no SDI on this. This is really built for those mirrorless cameras that are kind of, you know, the world beaters at the moment. Um, and yeah, it just gives you that, you know, really nice crisp image. It's only 349 bucks. Yeah. The kids are loving it. The older crowd are loving it. We're loving it. <laughs> and we'll just keep pumping out the controls. That's really important. And the uh, firmware updates, are, are they free and are they available free. today? Free and available. Um, I think actually the Shinobi update's gonna come just after IBC, maybe a week after, um, for all these new ones that we're showing here. We're just going through QA on them. Um, but yeah, they're always free. We, we want to keep the customers up to date and we're working hard in the background. All right. Thanks a lot, Jeremy. Thanks, man.